Library is all about the books of the Bible. And we're going to take a look at the stories that we've heard so far, and maybe even the stories we're about to hear, and think about where they are within the Bible. And as you can tell from the liturgical calendar behind me, we are very close to being in that blue time of Advent. We're only two weeks away. And we're going to look today at where some of the stories we're about to hear are located within the Bible. And I'm also very excited because after we finish Advent, we're going to enter into a Sunday school time that we're calling Journey with Jesus, and we can't wait to share more stories with you. But speaking of stories, one of my favorite books, well, I just had to share it with you. It's called I Am a Story. It fits in beautifully with godly play and today's story in particular. I Am a Story. I was told around a campfire. Then painted on cave walls. I was carved onto clay tablets and told in pictures. I was written on papyrus and printed with ink and wood blocks. Then woven into tapestries. and copied into big books to illuminate minds. I was printed and bound, then acted out on stage. I was read in vast private libraries. Then in public libraries, open to everyone. And in places you'd never imagine. I made people frightened, excited, sad, and happy. I was censored, banned, and burned, but did not die. I've inspired millions. I can go with you everywhere. And will live forever. I am a story. This is my Bible that I received when I was in third grade. I still treasure it and love it and refer to it. And yes, I have several other Bibles that I also use, but I always come back to my third grade Bible. You know, the Bible wasn't always a book like this. It was stories around campfires in the desert and then told in people's homes. Then stories were written down on leather and then a kind of paper made from reeds called papyrus. And later, the stories were printed on the printing press and bound and shared that way. You know, the Bible has a front door and a back door, and then all the stories spill out from the middle. Well, let's take a look at the books of the Bible. It's almost like the Bible is a whole library full of books. Take a look. This story is about the books of the Bible. And look at all the books of the Bible here. Some of you might already know that the Bible is broken up into Old Testament stories and New Testament stories. And maybe you've heard me say Old Testament a lot so far this year, because the stories we've told have mostly come from the Old Testament. But don't worry, Advent's coming, and we're going to be dipping into the New Testament before you know it. There are actually 39 books in the Old Testament, and then 27 in the New Testament. So when we look at the Old Testament, we can break that down into the kinds of, of books that each one is made of. We have what's called the Torah or the law, and those are the first five books of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. We've heard a lot of stories just from Genesis. In fact, in this first book of the Bible, we've heard three stories already. We heard about creation, second creation with Adam and Eve, and then Noah and the flood. A lot of big stories happen, sacred stories happen 
in Genesis. And then we headed into Exodus and eventually Deuteronomy to explore the story of Moses and the 10 best ways to live. So we've heard a lot just from those first five books, the law, the Torah, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. But that's not all. Then we have books about history. And last week when we had elementary worship, the scripture that was read came from 1 Samuel, from one of our books about history. Then we have books about poetry and songs. Are you surprised to learn that the Bible has poems and songs in it? Maybe they're already familiar. One of the most famous books of the Bible with poetry and songs is called Psalms. And I hope if you're not already familiar that you'll find some favorite scripture within Psalms one day. Then we head into the prophets. Some people break it down into major prophets and minor prophets, but here we talk about all the prophets. And then we head into the New Testament, and we have the Gospels, the four books that make up the Gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the first four books of the New Testament. Then we have Acts, which gives us a little bit more history before we head into books of letters. And if maybe you've been paying attention in church services, you've heard your parents talking, as a whole church for the last few months, we've been slowly reading through the book of Ephesians, and that's one of our letters. So we can see the books of the Bible are right here, and it really is like a library full of books with stories to be told. So we've thought a little bit about stories we've heard so far, and coming up in Advent, we're going to hear the story of getting ready to go to Bethlehem and the story of Jesus' birth, and we're going to go to the Gospels to hear that story. And we'll stay in the Gospels into January. We've got a great curriculum starting called Journey with Jesus. And Mrs. Lowry and I cannot wait to share that curriculum with you, these stories of Jesus' life. This is just a little taste of what the Bible is all about. But I love that we can touch each of the books. We can see the colors and know this is the law, this is history, this is poetry. Here we enter into the prophets that we can see what the Bible is all about. I wonder which part you liked best. Do you like the law or history, the gospels, the letters, poetry? I wonder where you are in this story. I wonder if you would like to memorize the books of the Bible one day. Because when we know the names of the books of the Bible, we can turn in our Bibles much more easily. Thank you so much for joining us today for Godly Play as we looked at the stories that make up the books of the Bible. We have one more week before we enter into Advent, and I'm so excited to announce we'll have a guest storyteller talking to us about the Holy Family next week. That'll get us ready to be on the way to Bethlehem as we think about Advent and getting ready for Christmas. Thanks so much for joining us.